This is a single legged hamstring curl, so we're going to strengthen each side individually on this one. Yeah. Let's we'll start here. His knee is touching the front of this bench. His other leg is on top of a small platform he put to put himself in the perfect angle. His upper body is not moving. One of the things I like about this, which is why I was really intrigued when he was showing this to us, is we talked about closing the gap from the heel to the butt. That is the weakest spot. It really is. From here to here, we just, there's very little strength. You'll notice that when you try to do these. So he's only got a couple plates here, but that's still really hard. That contraction is hard. This is the leg bicep, if you will. Okay, it burns like hell, especially as you're contracting. You're trying to create a ball, and that's what he's doing right now. He's trying to create his leg bicep. Beautiful. Are you on the leg that hurts right now? Yeah, it's the weaker side. Noticed immediately that it was a little bit higher, harder for him, and as I'm staring at his butt, I realized that the weight isn't coming as high. The idea is to get it as high. So, this is a great injury workout, if you have one. Yeah, see his face? That's working. Come on. Come on. How does he know what his number is? Once you have an injury and you're doing something different and your muscle group hurts, you have the excuse before you came into the gym to give up. So I don't want to tear it again. I don't want to get hurt again. Well, how about I want the muscle group? Or if you're entering a contest, as this is called that, how about trying to win the damn contest? Um, I tore my hamstring a while back this last year doing sprints. So and I wait, wait, wait. Good story. Guy comes out. We're doing a little posing and stuff, dinking around at my gym. And he turns around and he lifts up his leg and he had, it, it looked like somebody threw a purple marker and it blew up on his leg. It was just bleeding inside of his skin, just oozing down. Three weeks out from a competition? Yeah, the USA. Three weeks out from a national competition. He's been starving himself, been killing himself. And what did he do? He played the pain game with himself. He called himself out and he kept going. Somebody was on a stepper, running. He, the back of his leg looked like purple cottage cheese. Incredible what it did. And he kept on going. So as he shows you this, pay attention. Yeah, I did like, 400 floors a day, every day, for the last month. And um, for me, it was either back out completely or at least give it what all I got. And you know, regardless of how I placed, I knew that you know, discipline and work ethic wouldn't be a, an issue. So that's what I learned from that. <laughs> and, and you basically pulled this exercise from that? Still being I did. Able to I, did. Um, I noticed when I was doing these and strengthening my hamstring, and I'm still working on it, that um, my one side was always pushing harder than the left. So. What I noticed when I got on here is the right was really easy, and then I got to the left and I could hardly do it. So I'm still easing my way back into it, but strengthening the side that's weaker. As Dave showed you with Dale, um, doing more reps on the weak side so you can kind of balance out and not allow you know, the stronger leg to overtake it when you're using both legs on either one of these. Awesome.